Okay guys, I thought it would be fun to do a drugstore beauty bath haul. So I'm just gonna share with you some things I bought. Okay, so first, I really thought this was adorable. It's a little pill case. I got it at five below. It's got um, all the days of the week plus an extra day. And I thought this was good for travel. Uh, I don't take a lot of medications, but I do take these all natural multivitamins, so you have to take several a day to get the right dose. And so I thought, oh, this would be really good for when I'm traveling to make sure I'm getting those vitamins in. Next, I wear my hair back um, and ponytails with headbands all the time. That's just the style I do, especially when I'm busy. <laughs> so I thought these were just really beautiful. Lighter colors work well for me because I have really, really dark brown hair. So I found this pink lace and white lace, and then this pale blue. This kind of has a unique shape to it. Like it's kind of open and knots. So I thought those were pretty. I got those both at five below. They were actually a two for deal. So that was cool. Next they had this travel size um, EOS shave cream. So I was like, I wanted just to, I just wanted to try it. They make these in full size, but I saw this travel size and I was like, cool, I'm gonna try it, see if I like it. Next are these earrings. These earrings are very cheap. These are not fancy, but I just really liked the bows and I loved it. My favorite though were this little, with the little pale pink flowers. I loved those. And so yeah, this is just a fun little pack. Not expensive, but fun, you know? I liked it. And this was also from Five Below. This brush, I really love this brush. This is actually our second one. I've just bought this new one to replace our old one. Designed to help with your frizz control, and I have a lot of frizz issues, so I like this brush a lot. I like these style paddle brushes. They work well in my hair and Kyle's hair and the kids' hair, to be honest. So that's from the drugstore. Any drugstore, they all sell them. Okay, and this is for Sophie. Her hair is too thick for normal clips, and these are oversized, so I'm hoping they work because they're really pretty, and sometimes she just wears one side of her hair pulled back kind of like in the picture there, and I just thought these were really sweet and pretty, and I'm hoping that they work in her hair, and they're the goodie brand. Next, I picked up Kyle some new deodorant. He asked me to pick it up for him. He loves this brand, and ladies, like all of their deodorants smell so good. I always get a different scent, like I change it up, and um, yeah, I love it. Like, it works. Let me just tell you, smelling my husband, it works, and he smells really good, so. He lets me pick it out for him. He's always like, just give me that con this brand, and he's like happy, so. <laughs> Continuing on the not exciting, just I got more deodorant. Um, this is actually my favorite deodorant. This is really weird to have a favorite deodorant, but I do. This is the Dove Advanced Care, their clear tone. And the reason I like this is because my skin is a little sensitive, and so shaving it, all, shaving my underarms all the time just like made the skin, I don't know, it didn't look as like, it seemed a little like almost beat up, uh, I started using this Dove Advanced Care Clear Tone um, year, two years ago, I think. Oh my goodness, it really helped. It's just like lotion for your underarms. Plus it works. It's a really good deodorant. And then I've actually had um, laser hair removal done on my underarms <laughs> during the last year. And so I don't really have to shave almost ever. So that combined with this, and I know that's really weird, but it's like you have pretty underarms. So I would recommend this if you have underarm skin that's like sensitive and you need to like want to take better care of it. This deodorant has been awesome for me. Okay, and then I just picked up this face wash. I, I've used Aveeno. I love Aveeno products. I absolutely love Aveeno products. I've never used this one. And I got this one um, to use just because it had, I just wanted to try it. I like their products and I like the more even tone. I was like, hmm, I'm gonna try this bad boy. So my favorite BB cream in the world is the, Pond's um, BB cream and they've discontinued it. So I'm devastated because I just love it. So I'm searching for a new one. I've, <laughs> I've just gone through two different high-end brands from the beauty stores that I didn't love. So now I'm going to try a drugstore brand because the Pond's was a drugstore brand and it was my favorite, absolute favorite. So I'm just going through trying a bunch of them. If you have one that you like, tell me, recommend it to me. I'm going to try it. So I'm going to Let's, I'm gonna give this one a shot, see if I like it as well. I have never used a waterproof eyeliner, and since I do a lot of like um, water activities in the summer, I was like, I wanna try that, so I'm gonna try. It's by Rimmel, it's just their waterproof eyeliner. I'm pretty excited about that. 
And then I constantly try new mascaras to see. Um, I just always do. I love trying new mascaras, trying to see which ones I love the best. I have favorites. I definitely have favorites. So I'm going to give this one a shot. I wanted to try the L'Oreal, the Telescope. Is it Telescope? Telescope? I don't remember. Something like that mascara. But they don't have it in a waterproof. And I have to have waterproof because I am definitely one of those people who <laughs> everything smudges. So it has to be waterproof, which is why I'm excited about that eyeliner, by the way. So it didn't come in a waterproof for me, so I decided to try this one instead, just see if I like it. The same with this. I'm currently using a Sephora brand and a Pixie brand, and the brand Pixie. I liked these eyeliner shades, and I just wanted to try them. I use Physicians Formula, but I've never used their eyeliner, so I don't know if I'll like it, but I'm going to try. It looks like the stuff kind of like, and I love the color. So it just comes with a black, a pewter, and a champagne. They also had these same ones, the same color palette, but in a sparkly one. So I thought that was pretty fun. If I like these, maybe I'd get the sparkle one. And next, I really, really like um, the Physician Formula blushes. I use other blushes too, but I've always liked theirs in the past. And so this one was gorgeous. With this kind of, it's got a shimmer to it. And it's supposed to be ultra nourishing with argan oil. And I was like, I'm going to give this a try. This is the brand Hard Candy, which I am um, not, I mean, I've heard of them, but I'm not that familiar with them, to be honest with you. I was just walking by and I saw this nail polish shade and I was like, what? It is pink and gold, y'all. And I just love it. A pink and gold sparkle. I know that Hard Candy is known for not testing on animals, so that's pretty cool. This is 622, Crush on Pink is the color, and like I said, it's just this shimmery pink gold, and I love it. Okay, and then last, <laughs> I have got different bun makers. For Sophia's buns, this style is my favorite. I have two here because one is, one is bigger and one is smaller, so depending on what we're doing for her, and they just happen to come with these accessories, which is fine, it's great. Okay, and then this style here, where you kind of put it through a middle hole, the middle hole, and then you wrap it up and you wrap it around. I've used this before with success, which is pretty awesome because it's hard. My hair's, I have a lot of hair. I honestly don't remember the name of the one I used. It was more expensive than this though. And so I used it enough that I wore it out. So I saw that this one, the Remington, they had a brand at the drugstore and it was less expensive. And so I got the adult size one. And I also got the, the kid one. So I'm going to try them in Sophie's hair and see if it works. If not, I mean, I know they worked in mine, but this is my favorite kind. They're cheap, but they're hard to find. Sometimes I see them everywhere, and there are days when I will see them nowhere. Like, there'll be weeks where I can't find one, and then other times I see them all over the place. So I try to keep some on hand because we do lose them. We tr I mean, try not to, but we lose them, and we'll go six months and never lose it, and then all of a sudden we'll lose two in like a week. It's... So it's just, they're inexpensive. She has to wear her hair up in a bun at least once a week. There's my drugstore bath and beauty haul. I just thought it'd be fun to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to everybody next time.